Storytelling with Style Mastering Body Language and Gestures in English Hello everyone! Welcome to another exciting lesson in English language learning. Today, we're going to talk about something really interesting. Developing speaking skills through storytelling and jokes. Using body language and gestures. This is more than just about words and grammar. It's about how you present yourself and express your ideas. So, get ready to up your English speaking game. When we talk about communication, we often focus on the words we say. But did you know that nonverbal communication, like body language and gestures, play a huge part in how others perceive us? It's a universal language that adds depth to your storytelling, making it more engaging and compelling. Body language includes facial expressions, hand gestures, body posture, and even the space you maintain between you and the person you're communicating with. Using these effectively can enhance your storytelling and make your jokes more hilarious. Now, let's talk about some common gestures you might use while speaking English. Remember, these gestures can vary greatly across different cultures, so we'll focus on those that are widely understood in English-speaking cultures. Thumbs up. This means good job or well done. Handshake. A friendly gesture of greeting or agreement. Nodding. Expresses agreement or understanding. Shaking your head. Indicates disagreement or denial. A pat on the back. A gesture of encouragement or praise. As you learn these gestures, try to incorporate them in your English speaking practice. Storytelling is an art, and your body language plays a vital role in making your stories vivid and engaging. Here are some ways to use body language effectively in storytelling. 1. Facial expressions. Show your emotions through your face. For instance, if you're telling a sad story, let your face reflect the sadness. 2. Hand gestures. Use your hands to depict actions or to show the size or shape of something in your story. 3. Body movements. Use your whole body to express the story. For example, if you're telling a story about running, act it out a bit. Remember, these gestures should be natural and relevant to the story you're telling. It's all about enhancing your story, not distracting from it. Jokes often rely on timing, tone, and yes, body language. A well-placed gesture or facial expression can turn a good joke into a great one. 1. Facial expressions. A wink, a smirk, or a raised eyebrow can add a punchline to your joke. 2. Hand gestures. The way you deliver the joke can make a huge difference. A dramatic hand gesture at the right time can add hilarity to your joke. 3. Timing. Delaying a gesture or a facial expression for a few moments can increase anticipation and make the punchline even funnier. And that wraps up our lesson on using body language and gestures in English. Remember, language is more than just words. It's about expression and connection. Your body language can add a new dimension to your storytelling and make your jokes come alive. So, don't be afraid to express yourself and have some fun along the way. I hope this lesson helps you in your English learning journey. Until next time, keep practicing and keep learning.